Grace and peace to all who do the will of our Father in heaven. Um, I, I'm making this video literally just spontaneously and it happens um, as I'm on my way, waking up in the morning and on my way to work. Um, and yes, I, I work. I work a day job. I don't accept donations. I don't accept cash because I don't want an earthly reward. Um, if I'm telling the truth, and I believe I am, then I will, I will rather have my reward from my Father in Heaven. And, and I don't want to be on the internet, on YouTube, anywhere, begging you all for clicks, begging you all for money, begging you all to watch my content so that I can pay my bills. I go to work so that I can uh, pay my bills and and I do the videos and, and the research after, you know, in the time that I have after work and taking care of the family and all of that. But um, so, like I said, I was making this video really kind of almost spontaneously um, because I go. It's been a while since I had made a video about the, the, the subject of trans investigations and it never fails though on almost every video that features a celebrity i have someone telling me for a fact that all celebrities or especially the ones in the video are um gender inverted that they are not women that they are faking it i need to wake up stuff like that and and i, I have my usual response is I've already been down that road. I've already jumped into that arena. And I can tell a lot of these people that I, I saw the whole rise in the beginning of that movement. I saw people in the beginning, like uh, was the Mag Real Truth, I believe it was, and the Apostle Laura Lee, who was the first person who I ever saw to speak about the subject. And other people such as uh, Truthful Spirit or Blue Heron and there have been so many ungodly people in Mr. E, Mr. E3000 came along later, who over time began to speak more biblically or sound more, quote, Christian. But <clears throat> I can tell you that this movement was not godly from the beginning. It was not full of godly people. And I don't, you know, like I said, I dipped my toe in it. I got into that topic and I started making videos, too. And I was convicted. I was convicted of the Holy Spirit and I, I removed the videos that I made. I deleted them. And the, the check that I got in my spirit was that I was speculating. I was I did not have proof of what I was saying. I was spreading rumors. I was bearing false witness. And and it, and it, and it was there was no ambiguity in my feeling about it at all. And I deleted those videos and I said, I'm not I'm not doing that again. I'm not getting back into that again. And and I can tell people that. But they're they're so under that that spell. That's what I'm going to call it, a spell. They're so under that spell now. And um and usually I will often re reply in the comments that these people don't have any degree. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't have any um expertise in anatomy and and if I was to tell a person, well, if you're so sure that this person is a trans, send me proof. I'll put my email address right there in the in the thread. Send me proof that this person is not a woman. And it never fails that I don't get that proof. Or if they want to send me a video of somebody pointing at a picture and talking about why they think it's not a woman and they're dead wrong because they don't really know what a woman looks like. Or they think that a woman all have to look like some porn star that they saw on the Internet. And if a woman doesn't look hyper feminized like that that she's not a woman and it just happens it just so happens that they have a very very narrow view of what a woman should look like and I'm, I know that it's all really just about the um, the views because you can't you can't be speaking in truth and do so much speculation and be wrong especially when it could be easily proven wrong and, and since I have got into that topic and got out, gotten out of it, I randomly, I don't even go looking for the stuff. Randomly, I would just be on the internet, be on Twitter, be on Instagram, be anywhere, 
and I would see a picture of one of these celebrities that they had said was not a woman, and I would see a picture, and I'd be like, that's a woman. <laughs> I'm, I know what a woman looks like, and that's a woman. And I would say, uh, I would name a few. Jennifer Lawrence was one of them. I um, was just on Twitter one day, and as the, as the internet algorithm often goes, I just saw a picture of Jennifer Lawrence in her birthday suit, <laughs> or at least very, if it wasn't her birthday suit, she was practically not wearing anything at all. And it was, uh, it looked like a hotel room picture or whatever. And I, I looked at her and I said, and I said, that is not a, that was not a man. That is a woman. If you don't, if you look at that and don't know that that's a woman, you, you have, um, some problems, really, you have some other issues that you need to work out. And so, again, um, oh, in another video that I saw, I wasn't even looking for it again. This one was about Mariah Carey. And this was a an actual expert on anatomy going and debunking what people were saying about her. And this person was going and looking at the video and, and showing exactly why, even though her um, her body is not exactly like what we would call ideal for a woman, I guess. He was showing that her her um, bone structure is in the right place for a woman. And, and, and her skull size is the right ratio for a woman. And I'm like, again, people who put these videos out there didn't do much depth of study at all. They didn't have much depth of study. And the people who believe those videos didn't have much of a um, um, a desire, I guess, to, to double check what they were hearing. And we were supposed to prove all things, but people aren't proving. But they want to come in the comments and speak to me from a, a matter of fact and say that, that woman, that's not a woman, that's a man. Or that it's a fake pregnancy, things like that. Bearing false witness. Speaking idle words that every every word we're going to give account for. And so this morning, why am I making this video? Randomly, I'm I'm on Instagram this morning before I go to work, and I scroll past a picture of Elizabeth Hurley. That's the woman who was in the movie Bedazzled, and she was in um um uh, uh, the first. And I, I keep wanting to say Ace Ventura, not Ace Ventura. The first, um, um, is it, oh, the spy movie. I can't believe I get it. The spy comedy. <laughs> I can't believe Austin Powers. That's it. She was in the first Austin Powers movie. But yeah, she was also in Bedazzled. And that's the one where she was playing uh, as Satan, as a woman. And and they played that off as a joke. And I'm like, oh, no, that's not a joke. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, people, they would say, oh, she's, she's trans. She's not a woman. And I randomly, I scroll past a picture of her in a, um, well, you'll see the image. And I'm like, that's a woman. <laughs> Again, like how, I don't, I don't get it, you know. I don't get how narrow your view. What do you think women are supposed to look like? Who put this, I, like it has to be, it has to be porn. Either porn or some other hyper-sexualized image that you saw of a woman and you think if a woman doesn't look like that or if she doesn't just have a, a certain level of body fat that she isn't a woman. And like a thin, a thin woman, especially under some clothes, might not look as feminine as you think they should look, but that doesn't give you the right to speculate and, and accuse, actually that's the word I should be saying, it doesn't give you the right to accuse people, no matter who they are, of being something that they're not, or doing something that they're not doing, because that is not truthful. They may not be a good person. They may not be saved. God may hate them, but that doesn't give you the right to lie on them. That doesn't give you the right to lie on anybody. And I will not continue spreading those lies. I've already stopped, so I'm not even going to say continue. I will not spread those lies, and I will not accept those lies. If you repeat these lies on my channel, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to delete them. 
and I don't usually delete these comments. I don't usually delete comments at all, but I'm, I'm just tired of getting those comments. Especially when I know that they're not true. And so what I did this morning was I, um, after I had, okay, I went to her Instagram account and I said, well, let me see more pictures. And if I do see anything that looks sus to me, that looks out of place. And I didn't. Every picture I saw her in, she had a woman's bone structure. She was thin. Yeah, she's thin. But she's a woman. And I, um, what I did after that was I, I searched thin or slim woman on beach in my uh, little, little search engine. Slim woman or thin woman on beach. And I got a lot of images of women who were thin or almost as thin as her or maybe not as thin as her in bikinis I'm like it's the same picture it's the same thing the same body type now all these women I'm just convinced that most of you don't know what a woman looks like because all of these women look like or at least similar to her and all I did was a, a Google search for a slim or thin woman. But again, the seduction, the seduction, the itching ears, this whole thing that spread like a wildfire. You know the old saying that the, the, a lie can make it around the world twice or whatever before the truth can even put its shoes on. I think that's true. You know, and it's really, it's like, it's almost too late to put that, uh, that, that cat back in the box or cat back in the bag. Or, and that's not even the right analogy. It's too late to put that, uh, something back in the whatever. <laughs> because it's, you know, and, and this is what I was saying, uh, well, kind of, kind of what I was saying the other day about the futility or the vanity of trying to tell the truth in a world full of lies. Because it's just like a drop in the ocean. And ultimately, you feel like, I'm, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, to, to, I'm just out here just yelling. <laughs> but I'm just one person. And for every lie, for every lie or every, um, hundred lies or a thousand lies I can only I can only tell one truth so I'm, I know it's all in the father's hands you know and everything is going to go according to his plan and his will and his purpose because he put he's ultimately in control of everything the Bible says that the Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hands so he pours out that spirit of deep sleep he pours out that spirit of slumber he pours out that spirit that puts the whole world to sleep that um that um <clears throat> what do you, what was another word that was used but anyway that was um, the spirit of deep sleep spirit of slumber was a metaphor for babylon he pours that out so and this is kind of why i had to stop being upset about people like jonathan Clark online as well because ultimately all these people who are spreading lies are, are doing their job. They're doing what God, the Most High, has put them out there to do. Satan is not just running wild without any control. God has very, very set boundaries that Satan is allowed to operate in. And just like when Job was tried and tested, Satan couldn't do that without the Most High's approval, without the Most High's um, say so and knowledge. So, who was it really who put Job through all of that? Was it Satan who put Job through all of that, took away everything that he had? Or was it God who did it? Ultimately, it was God who did it. And Job said, right, he said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. I believe that's what he said. I hope I'm not misquoting him. But uh, ultimately, yeah, it was God who did that. 
Ultimately, it's God who sends the beast upon the earth and the false prophet. Yes, yeah, Satan. I believe Satan is the one who falls with the key and opens the pit and unleashes the beast. <laughs> Unleash the beast, you know. But ultimately, God is the one who gave him the key. And that's why I don't really, I try not to get upset about the liars too much anymore on the internet. But I don't want to be subjected to it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to, um, I don't want that being put into my mind, into my ears, into my head when I know it's not true. And because I can't, I can't just let it go. You know, I, I, I'm like, you're not going to sit here and lie and just think I'm just going to look past it. But I think I've made this video go on long enough. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and listening. And may our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you.